So I said the Doom Powers trailer would likely be the last trailer before the release of Sonic X Shadow Generations. I was wrong. It has happened a couple of times, though surprisingly not as many as I would have thought given how crazy I thought my ideas video was back then. So we actually have two trailers to discuss here. One is more of a showcase of this game's compatibility with the PS5 DualSense controller, and the other has far more to talk about. Before getting into the trailers, I should say that I will be making reference to my Doom Powers trailer breakdown video throughout this video, and that video hasn't performed as well as other trailer breakdowns I've made, so if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend doing so. Let's firstly discuss the Feel the Rush on PS5 trailer, then get into a full breakdown of the story trailer. The Feel the Rush trailer only really shows us two new things, other than confirming that the game will make use of the DualSense speaker, and it will make use of haptic feedback. The trailer opens with Sonic and Shadow in a fight. This could be referencing the existing Sonic vs Shadow fight from the original generations, however many are taking this to mean that there will be a Shadow vs Sonic fight in this game, due to this part of the trailer clearly being rendered in the new engine. As I said in my ideas video, which is kind of scary how much of this game I have predicted from that video, this was incredibly likely to happen. I do still maintain that if we have a Shadow vs Sonic rival fight based on the final fight in SA2's Hero and Dark Pathways, in addition to the existing Sonic vs Shadow fight, then fans may not be too happy about it and it may be seen as lazy. However, people do love SA2, so honestly who knows if this will go down well. I hope Sega put a unique spin on this fight if they are going to use the same one for inspiration, but only time will tell here. The second thing this trailer gives us is a proper look at enemy territory. That's right, Forces is back. Spoilers no infinite in this trailer. <sighs> but enemy territory looks really good visually, and while you can tell some level structure from the original enemy territory has been copied exactly, they appear to be doing new things with the theme, such as the part where Shadow rail grinds down the arms of the Death Egg robots. Though, now that I think about it, enemy territory takes place before Eggman takes over the world, so perhaps this isn't actually enemy territory, but actually Sunset Heights. I'm now believing that this part of the game is specifically that moment before Shadow saves Sonic from the Illusion Shadow. You know, the moment where the fastest thing alive decides to awkwardly try to defend the slow moving kick instead of moving out of the way. Whoa, this guy is faster than Sonic! It would be believable since we already have Chaos Island which we never saw Shadow at previously. Regardless, this looks really good and is what I have been clamouring for taking the good ideas from forces and fleshing them out in order to give us some truly incredible stages. I hope the final game gives us even more improvements to this forces stage and any other forces stages that this game may include. The only other thing of note in this first trailer is at the end. Shadow appears to physically hold the Shadow the Hedgehog logo? Whether or not it's just a piece of cool marketing or the logo actually has a meaning and is an actual item that Shadow will interact with remains to be seen. Perhaps it is a key to his new Doom powers or maybe it is necessary to stop Black Doom. Like I said, we will just have to wait and see with this one. Now, onto the story trailer. Much like the Doom's Power trailer, this trailer is very exciting, confirms more from my ideas video and brings back another boss fight I've been wanting to see so badly. I guess I am foreshadowing something here. Shadow. The trailer opens with us on Space Colony Arc. We are literally going to the exact moment where Shadow was first created and first awoke. We're going back in time. To the first moments of Shadow's creation to get Maria off the menu. That's right. We're going back in time. To the first moments of Shadow's creation to get Maria off the menu. <laughs> Who are you talking to? Infinite! Interestingly, we hear Mike Pollock voicing Gerald Robotnik again, and it also appears that Gerald resembles his SA2 depiction more than the Shadow the Hedgehog version in this game. Crucially, we also see Maria here too, showing us that she indeed saw Shadow as soon as he was created. This opening suggests that what I suspected on in my Doom's Power trailer video is coming to fruition, that being we are likely going to see Maria's death in the opening of this game, and I believe that Maria and her connection to Shadow will play a very important role in this game's overall story. We then see Shadow in present day, looking up at the sky in the white world to see Black Doom in some strange new form. His eye appears to be part of some sort of spherical construct. He says, The promised time is nigh upon us, Shadow. Which is very reminiscent of his original line to Shadow in Shadow the Hedgehog. Shadow. As you can see, the day of reckoning will soon be here. Find the seven chaos emeralds and bring them to me. This then transitions into Shadow being captured by Black Doom in some sort of possession with him saying We then see a new scene of Shadow in the White World addressing Doom's eye, which, as it did in Shadow the Hedgehog, projects an image of Black Doom. We hear Shadow say Black Doom, I destroyed you once, I will do it again. 
And crucially, we don't hear Black Doom correct him, implying that Shadow did indeed defeat Black Doom in Shadow the Hedgehog. This, along with the tagline, an ancient foe awakens slightly later in the trailer, really supports the idea that Doom was truly defeated and has been resurrected, likely through the time meter. We then see Shadow fighting with Doom's eye. He appears to use Chaos Spear here, suggesting this fight takes place before Shadow gets his new powers, or that Black Doom has given Shadow the new powers and has the ability to neuter them when need be, or is simply immune to them. We then go on to see Shadow chasing Doom's eye through the city level again, while he Hearing him say, No more mistakes. We'll finish this here and now. This whole set piece really does feel like an epic showdown and a true fight that has been in the making for nearly two decades. It is so good to see Sega and the Sonic team using elements from games like Shadow the Hedgehog and to another set Sonic 06 and not being afraid or embarrassed by them anymore. As while Shadow the Hedgehog is far from a flawless game, it had some really great ideas and it introduced a lot of backstory for Shadow that has sadly been ignored until now. This epic feel is further bolstered by the tagline, Shadow returns in an ultimate adventure. Sega knew that they've won people over with their marketing this game and it shows. I just hope that the final product is able to live up to expectations and we don't get a forces or colors ultimate situation of the game being a massive letdown or a broken seizure inducing mess. Seriously though, it just astounds me that this got past any form of playtesting. How did they not notice this? We then see the city level again, but with a bright purple hue to it. At first glance, it looked like it might have been a new Black Comet level like The Last Way, but you can tell that it is the city level on closer inspection. The purple hue gives me serious end of the world vibes though. We see Radical Highway, Chaos Island and Kingdom Valley briefly again, showing us the volcano from Chaos Island erupting, which is interesting as it only erupts in frontiers after you beat the pinball minigame. You know, everyone's favourite part of that game. Perhaps Shadow's being sent backwards or forwards in time to see Chaos Island at the same time Sonic is there, or maybe this is just a cool new set piece. We then get the tagline, Unleash New Abilities, before seeing Shadow use Doom Wings to fly up towards the new freaky looking black Doom Sphere thing. I'm assuming this is either an evolved or final form of the Sphere Doom we saw at the start of the trailer, likely for some boss fight. We then get the tagline, Defeat Your Greatest Enemies. And then, we get the best reveal of this trailer. Not as good as the Metal Overlord from the Doom Powers trailer, but on a similar level. Infinite boss fight, that's right, Forces is back. No, I'm kidding again. We get the long-awaited return of Mephilus the Dark. One of the greatest villains in the history of the series finally makes his return. Now, of course, due to the events of 06 basically erasing itself from the game's canon, Mephilus could only return in a generation-style game. So I'm not surprised that it has taken this long, but I am glad to see it actually happen. With Black Doom likely playing the role of final boss, it seems my wish from my ideas video for Mephilus to be a main boss may actually come to fruition. I am again hopeful that he gets some dialogue and that Sega bring back Dan Green to voice him once again. <laughs> <laughs> Everything from the design, to the voice acting, to the incredible music that goes with him and his boss fights, to the best character boss fights in the series, Mephilus is a fantastic villain and I'm so happy to see him in this game. His inclusion also marks yet another prediction, technically two from my ideas video, being a Mephilus fight and Dusty Dead appearing in some form. I believe the only things from my ideas video not to come to fruition in some form are White Acropolis, a stage from a future game in the series, and of course... INFINITE BOSS FIGHT! I AM NOT WEAK! <laughs> of course, these things could still happen. I doubt Sega is showing us everything to expect from this game in the marketing, but who knows at this point. A funny thing to mention here for the 06 haters who love the fact that Mephilus has no mouth, you can't point to this as a piece of evidence that Sega rushed 06 anymore. Not that you were really struggling for choice, but this trailer shows Mephilus still lacking a mouth. So we can confirm that this was a clear, intentional design choice, no matter what anyone says. We then see a few highlights from various levels, including the newly revamped enemy territory, or more likely Sunset Heights, as well as showing us Chaos Control in action. It looks to perform here exactly like Time Break from Secret Rings, down to the screen going to a more black and white colour scheme, before showing us Shadow fighting what looks to be a revamped black bullfight. Which, if it is, wow, what an improvement! 
Black Bull and Shadow the Hedgehog was so goofy looking, and this new version, in the brief second we see it in, is such an improvement. It's almost uncanny, to be honest. We see Shadow fighting some enemies in the White World before cutting to the Metal Overlord fight, where we see Shadow has taken a note out of Silver's book and can now seemingly use Psychokinesis, as he throws debris at the Metal Overlord. I have maintained for a while now that despite everything we have seen in the series, Silver it's has to be the strongest use. Sonic character, purely for his Psychokinetic abilities, it's as no use. character in-universe could it's realistically no counter those abilities. It's no use! Take this! It's no use! No I know in 06 Shadow beats Silver, we all know the clip where Shadow kicks Silver in the head, but realistically, there's no way you can counter Psychokinesis. It seemingly has no easy way to stop it other than other character needs to win this scenario because Sonic 06's plot needs to continue happening. If Shadow now has these abilities though, or similar ones, then there is absolutely no contesting that he is the strongest character in the series. We then see the time eater appear and rewind time, and I mean rewind, as we hear a meme-like rewind noise play in the trailer. Which was kinda cringe, but not a big deal. It's unclear at this moment what exactly this means, whether it just means the Time Eater is involved, or if there's going to be some Majora's Mask Groundhog Day-esque mechanics at play here. But the trailer ends with Shadow back in the White World, confused, and then shocked as he notices that Maria is also in the White World. Could this mean that Maria's death is being undone somehow? I doubt it, but it is possible. More likely is that she'd just be dragged from her time and be put into the White World, like we saw with Sonic's friends in the original generations, though in saying that, we saw Shadow and Silver at Sonic's birthday party after the events of the original generations, despite the fact that they were not there to begin with, with Silver in particular seemingly dragged from a completely different timeline. But again, we will have to wait and see with this one. And that's the end of the trailer. Overall, this trailer has done more to excite me for this game. The stages we have seen look incredible, the new story potential is very interesting to think about, and the return of Mephilos is absolutely incredible and somewhat unbelievable. Who would have thought that one day Sega would revisit anything from Shadow the Hedgehog and Sonic 06? Now that we are at the end of September, I would be very surprised if another major trailer came out for Sonic X Shadow Generations, but if another one comes, I will cover it here. Watch as a new one comes out next week. Infinite does need his time to shine after all. So, thank you all for watching. If you haven't seen my previous videos on Sonic X Shadow Generations, the playlist will be linked in the description as well as at the end of this video. I highly recommend watching the Doom's Power trailer in particular, as that one hasn't seen as much tension as the other ones. So, thank you all for watching yet another trailer breakdown. I hope you're looking forward to this game as much as I am, and have a great day. Hello, I'm Infinite. Sometimes when I'm afraid, I have to be brave. Lots of people want me to smash you into a and win the game. But can I tell you a secret? I don't always feel like being brave. Yeah. Hooray! Hello. It's no use! We're going back in time. What are you talking about?